Yo, what's up? I listen to all of Eve's tumors music and here's what I've learned. Point number one, keeping your mistakes. As people, we fear making mistakes. Not sure if it's an educated system or an evolutionary thing when we used to live in tribes, but I know you delete your mistakes in your music, wanted it to be perfect or whatever that means. Eve's tumor is known for keeping mistakes in his music. Here's an interview between Rothman and Joe talking about this. That was a cool mistake. Right, Keep it. Don't touch happens. it. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he's very in the freedom. And yeah, that's good. And he, he'll just be like, it's done. Don't like, like stop, like move, step away. It's done. And there's been a couple times where I was like, oh man, I, it, is it? <laughs> is it done? And then, you know, a year later it's out and you're like, oh yeah, that was perfect. Getting the humanity and chaos in the music is an extremely sought after skill. Keeping mistakes in your music if you play something incorrectly is a very good way to start. Just as randomization is used by electronic producers in electronic music to humanize it, don't shy away from the mistakes you make as you are making your songs. Here are a few examples of really popular music keeping mistakes in their songs. Number one, you can clearly hear a cough in this Pink Floyd track. The next song is by the police. You can hear a laughter after playing the wrong chord. And in Hey Jude, where you can clearly hear like Paul saying "fucking hell" after he played a wrong chord. The next thing I want to talk about is unconventional song structure. Eve Simio is another artist that utilizes unconventional song structure in his music. If you want to learn more about song structures, I have a video about Arca and two more videos about King Cruel where I go deeply into this topic. I want to give you a few examples of Eve's music where he doesn't really follow conventional song structures. Number one, God is a Circle. Here, he has a 4 bar intro. A 4 bar instrumental. And then the rest of the song is kind of like a verse. The next song is Parody. It's very weird because it starts off with a 1 in the 16th bar intro with a drum fill. And then it goes to an 8 bar verse. And then a 7 bar pre-chorus. And the chorus itself is three and a half bars. And then it's back into the intro slash verse thing. The third example is Madison Byrne. In this song, it starts off with a three quarter bar intro. And then he gets into a A bar refrain or chorus. Sixteen bar verse, and then a six bar break, and then the rest of the song is kind of like a breakdown, or just like everything's like kind of just whatever at, at that point. Don't sleep on song structure. I believe this is the eighty twenty rule for making your track sound extremely raw and uncomfortable. The next thing I want to talk about is comb filtering. According to the interview, comb filtering is a trick that Yves Rothman does a lot in his music. Here is him talking about it in the same interview. Tracks together and getting the little bit of comb filtering oh, yeah. that happens. Oh yeah, all the time. You, um, on get guitars. amazing sounds, yeah. guitars yeah. especially. Yeah. You get amazing yeah. sounds when you have, you know, that, that half a millisecond delay or whatever yeah, it is. Yeah. It just filters out so weird awesome. frequencies. And then, I mean, tape slap. I'm constantly doing that. You can try it with drums or guitars. You'll find that you can get a very cool effect with it. Here are my two examples.
just quickly, I know how lonely it can be being on this music production journey. I have a free Discord server you can join. I'm trying to build a cult of like-minded, unique producers like yourself. In there, you can get help or feedback on your music, meet other producers like you, and more. Links in the description, and I'll see you there. And that's it for the video. Shout out to MF Jim. He's the one that wanted a yeast tumor breakdown. Comment down below on the next artist you want me to break down, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Hey!